the Electronic Entertainment Exhibition and it is the largest event in the world where all the companies, the most important electronic entertainment companies, meet. And of course, Nintendo Mania was there. But tell them, tell them about the trip, about all the surprises that were shown. Well, there I think about myself, carrying my luggage when I arrive at the airport. Which by the way was quite heavy. Do not exaggerate. Stop interrupting me, okay? As I was telling them, on the way to the hotel, my mind kept imagining everything I was going to see in the exhibition. Well, even the luggage I was forgetting. What a bad way. Well, look. It wouldn't have been so bad. Well, after arriving at the hotel, I fell asleep for a few minutes. For me, that was much longer, huh? Later, I started to unpack. And what would be my surprise to find this nosy in my suitcase? Hmm. Well, an opportunity like this, when am I going to miss it? And you? What was there? Calm down, my dear interactive. Well, by the way, I don't know how this guy did it, but he entered the convention center with me. Where almost everything was ready for Friday the 12th, the next day, May 12, when I would say the event began. He looked white. He gave me touches when he touched himself. Oh, it's that. Static electricity. That what? Static. But the one who was not static, and nor is it right now, is you. You looked like Mario wanting to rock with cape and magnet. How relaxing, preparing all that. So that it would only last three days. Do you remember what our buddy Tom told us? Our buddy. It's very cute. What does it say? Ah, uh, um, let's see what Tom Hutchinson said, who was in charge of setting up the entire Nintendo area at E3. We're going over there. Well, look, we took seven days and seven nights to assemble everything. And if I don't hurry, I'm not going to finish assembling it today. Ask him about the team, about the team, how many teams are there. I would like to know how much equipment the Nintendo staff have. How many teams are on Team Nintendo? Well, look, we have 200 televisions around this. We have 10 people working on this, 35 semi-trailers to have all the equipment here. Of how many? 35 semi-trailers to bring them here. Hello Nintendo Mania. And the day it all started, who do you think was the first to arrive? Oh, well, and if it wasn't all set, they needed help. Or do you know how to try a game or something? Oh. How comely, yes, of course. Better you have to fully enter what is mine, to check the games. Not what games. Well, but the environment matters too, right? Because, don't you remember when I filmed the girls here? Nancy, Nancy, turn off your TV for two minutes please. Let's meet. As you can see, the atmosphere was very hot. They even made you want to dance with the girls. Oops, how busy. <laughs> hey, well, I just remember. But the event was something very special. And we meet all kinds of personalities. And for sample, a button is enough. You will say a yokoi. Gunpei yokoi. As all maniacs already know, he is the creator of the Game Boy. And also the fantastic Virtual Boy. That I finally met. 
What happened is that this nosy got attached to a group of guest students and Mr. Yokoi gave them an interview. This was Sunday. This was the last day. By the way, you're flat, but really flat for interviews. And you is a medium chic metal cameraman. You got very bad shots, huh? You got moves. I wish they would have come out moving, but with the girls from Killer Instinct. Well, what happens is that my little camera also doesn't help me much, really. Pretext that. Hey, and what surprise did you get when you arrived with Williams Entertainment? And you saw all the actors from Mortal Kombat 3. Well, there was Tanya, Jack, Kung Lao, Pa. They were not believed. And don't forget Nunkaibo. I mean, John Tobias and Ed Boon. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, we are going to see them better after these commercials. Don't leave and we'll be back with more. What's up with Ed Boon? Now with Telegana you can win prizes you never imagined. If you want to own a box? Or go on a trip completely free. What are you waiting for to go buy your Telegana control and participate in the contests? There are many chances to win. But remember, if you don't watch Aztec TV, you don't win. One year from, one year away from the world. Hey, I didn't get that Mortal Kombat 3 shirt. Lend it to me, right? It depends how you carry yourself. Oh, by the way, at Williams Booth he had Mortal Kombat 3 and I compared it to Nintendo's. You were missing little details, right? But it's definitely going to be amazing. Uncensored, as you say, osh. They also showed a big surprise that no one expected. Doom, a great success in the world of computers, now for the Super Nintendo. This game takes place in a first-person perspective where you have to advance through that kind of bark like Wolfenstein and Dale, but Doom uses the SFX chip with which very good graphics are achieved and with great fluidity. Ah. Uh. Now that I remember, did we not see Mortal Kombat 3 for Game Boy? No, but I did notice and ask them and they are already programming it. Ah, watching the program, yes? What a good man my buddy is. What buddy my? He means Nick Jones, Mr. Jones, the programmer at Air World Gym. And of course the second version, the second, that is, it is the second version of Air World Gym. And how is it? But amazing. It's crazier than the first one, mind you. Well, the graphics have new details, like the sub-boss that we saw, which uses render, which makes the brightness look very real, like what we were talking about the Donkey Kong alias the other day. No wonder I wrote something strange to him. I wrote something strange to him. No, strange that Takara, the brand that commonly sold all versions of SNK's greatest hits for Nintendo, is now leaving them in the hands of Playmates, as in the case of World Heroes 2 Jet. It was great, you had some characters from the Arcadia version. Yes, there are 16 plus the final boss. And if you connect two Game Boys, with their respective cartridge, two players can face each other. And for those who have Super Game Boy, I assure you that it looks pretty good. Yeah. Another title we saw at the Playmates booth was the Game Boy version of Air War Gym, which was very good on mobile. I really liked it too, but too bad it doesn't have the advantages of the Super Game Boy. Yes, it's my science. Wildcat is another Playmate title that is similar to Final Fight, but here the characters are based on a comic. And Mutant Chronicles is a game similar to Contra, only the characters take more shots than in other games. Now that you mention other games, what do you think if we talk about the Atlas games? Wow! Batman Forever is a game with digitized graphics and is for two players. Clear! And there's Batman and Gobi. And the characters look a bit like Mortal Kombat. And also the movements. 
It's like Mortal Kombat. Yeah, well, secretly I was able to record these scenes that we are going to present to you. That is why we are going to see that they are not of the best quality. Pretext that. Well, dear you are going to see the world premiere. If you see the acclaimed people, don't tell them you saw it at Nintendo Mania. Because you're the first to see it, huh? Ah, the Game Boy one is almost the same. But both are based on the Batman Forever movie. Exactly. Another one that was shown was Cutthroat Island. With cartoonish graphics and the action takes place in a three-quarter perspective where the characters get angry. Like in the Sunsoft game, the Blackwater Pirates. Come along. And Dale, by the way, Sunsoft had several very important changes in Acclaim is going to distribute several of Sunsoft's titles. Ah, Dragoon was another Acclaim title. It is based on the Bruce Lee movie. Mm -hmm. And how about George Rex based on Stallone's film The Judge? In this game you are a policeman. A futuristic policeman who has to destroy certain things there on the scene and arrest the enemies. Oh, you look very pretty. Beautiful. But how about Revolution X? It is based on the Arcadia game. You have to shoot everyone. If you are good, you can find the members of the Aerosmith group. And for athletes, NFL Coreback Club 96 was shown. New improvements are added in this new version that will surely please American football fans. And for boxing fans, they're working on George Foreman Forbidden, which is similar to Chavez 2 in perspective. Ah, but if your tastes go more towards comics, I will tell you that they are already doing the second part of Maxim and Carnage. Which is for two players. And that Pablo is going to love it. Pablo? Ah. All the Acre games were preview versions. That's why they wouldn't let us record the games. What's more, Frank Thomas Big Heart Baseball and WWF Arcade announced. Although they did not show images, surely because they are using their own technology for motion capture they will surprise us. Do you think that this works for brands, right? Ah, uh, right now I remember Castlevania. Dracula X Oops, since I started playing it, I haven't put it down for a long time. I enjoyed those terrific graphics. You have to listen to the music. It's to stay with a square ear. Everything was going very well, until I went to the third scene. And? And then I realized that I hadn't programmed the rest. Ha ha ha! Don't worry. This happens to you by nailing it. It was to eliminate you, I mean. Two other games that Konami announced to us are for athletes as well. This is International Superstar Soccer 2. Although good, it still lacks. And also Big Gun, which is a basketball game with 7 mode graphics. That is, with rotation and scale. Although it also lacks a lot for its launch, the one that also uses rotation and scale to show off was Chrono Trigger, one of the best RPG games programmed by Square, huh? And don't forget that Secret of Mana was also shown, Hey, no, Secret of Evermore yes. If they look alike, it's exactly an RPG game, A, eh? A, eh? exactly, ah, uh, Tecmo. Tecmo introduced a game called En Secreto de la Estrella. The Secret of Stars. Hey, but right now, speaking of Tecmo, many maniacs will surely remember a Ninja Gaiden game. Well, Tecmo showed Ninja Gaiden Trilogy. It is a game for Super Nintendo that contains the three classic versions of the Nintendo NES. Okay, they are equal. Do you remember? I took out the first boss with my old one attack technique. There with the power with which the ninja spins. AHA. Yes, they are the same. Oh. They, also, Soundsoft showed something similar by showing the three classic ship games in a single game and it's called Shooting Collection. It's a single cartridge for the Super Nintendo. Well this game is pretty pretty good. With this game I am interested in a Castlevania 3, that of a Mega Man collection. Oh, that would be a good idea, but who knows, who knows, we'll see. Okay, but sticking with Hudson, Super Bomberman 3 was also shown. Now in this game 5 Maniacs can play at a time in base mode and 2 in normal game. Where you can even ride on characters that help you avoid objects or help you. Oh. 
And this is to get juice for your multi-adapter too, right? Oh, and also for maniacs who like puzzle-type games. Hudson showed Panic Bomber, which is for the Super Nintendo, of course. Oh, and for those who are already pulling their wool for the Virtual Boy, it's going to be out in about a month and a half or so. Hudson is going to release a version of Panic Bomberman and another game called Vertical Force, which is a game of ships where the action takes place in two planes that complement each other so that they become much more constant, right? Ah, since you're with the Virtual Boy, I already had my eye on Red Alarm. Red Alarm. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Divine. But you say, I'm keeping an eye on it. You're already keeping an eye on it because if not, you wouldn't see it if we wouldn't have dinner, yes. We can't show it because it doesn't show, let's see. What do you think? You were telling me about Red Alarm. It's similar to Star Wars where special control pads are used. Do you see that there are already two controls, two on each side? It is a maximum control in your ship. In a freed environment, where you can capsize your ship, etc. It's awesome. Yeah. Yes, yes. There was also Wario's Cruise. It is a Nintendo title for the Virtual Boy, which is very similar to Wario Land, but using the advantages of the Virtual Boy. Oh. Mario also comes to the Virtual Boy, the Mario Clash. It is a remake of the original Mario Brothers. Where here Mario has to eliminate as many enemies as he comes out of the pipe. But now the third dimension is used to throw them from one side to the other. Exactly in front of the sides. It's great if you like boxing. The Hero Boxer is a game that you're going to love. It has a first-person perspective where you face robots and you see the punches really incredible realism as that we increased the side again on Nintendo, right? Exactly, yes. You feel the screws coming loose. It's great. Yeah. Oh, and for variety, what did you think of Galactic Pinball? Oh, it's a game where you combine the technique of pinball, where the technique is simple. You don't let go of the puck, but there's so much more to the game than that. Yes. You do have to take care of her. Well, and if you like to compete, Mario's Dream Tennis. Oh, it's great. <laughs> There's Mario, Donkey Kong Jr., Princess Yoshi. I do. They're all playing tennis and you really see it in a really cool third dimension. You can do it with singles or doubles by connecting two virtual voices if you saw that, right? Yes, you can also play with two off. Uh... The good thing about these games is that you see them in third grade and in that one it's like they were stereograms but with movement. I didn't understand that stuff you were talking about about virtual voice until I played it and it really is. Very good, isn't it? Pure good vibes. Yeah. Remember also, the depth of the graphics that the virtual boy achieves, together with the stereophonic sound, it is as if you really immersed yourself in another world. The best of these maniacs can feel their own flesh, but it would look great yes, yes, yes you can really get a chance to play it check it out because it's going to be great. This is going to be out around the middle of August, we're going to some commercials and we'll be back with a lot more games, right? Wow, among them is Killer Instinct for Super Nintendo. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, did you talk? Yes, shall we go for a little while? Yes, let's go for a moment. Oh, I had a craving for crochet hooks. I love it. Me. I eat the chocolate first, then the cream, then the strawberry jam with the bread. I like to eat everything. And you, boy, did you eat so much? I haven't stopped eating it. I love them. Mm. Well, let's continue with the titles that Nintendo showed for the Game Boy, such as the wonderful Killer Instinct. Killer Instinct has a very good conversion. It uses the advantages of the Super Game Boy. What's more, play two at the same time. And about mobility, don't worry. In addition, it has all the characters. Street Fighter is another title that also takes advantage of the Super Game Boy. And it's like a combination of Street Fighter 2, but with only eight fighters to select in the final boss. And in mobility, well, it's not everything we would like, but it's great. 
For us who already have a few years in this of games, Nintendo is going to launch classics in cartridges with two games each, all of them from my time and very good. Matafena and Trumpo? Yo-yo. No, not Missile Command and Astro Galaga and Galaxy Centipedes and Millipedes and Defender and Jozo, by the way. The best thing at at 3 was definitely Killer Instinct for the Super Nintendo, with all the characters, all the characters, Super, Hyper, Blaster, Killer and another combo. Breaker. Breaker combo. I won my Killer Instinct, why didn't you make me blow one? Calm down, control yourself, little one. By the way, apparently, in the first 2 million cartridges Nintendo sells of Killer Instinct, they're going to give away a compact disc with the original Killer Cut music. Some arrangements are new, so wear a suit because it's coming out on August 30. It's the same music we've been listening to on this show. Now it reminds me of Donkey Kong Country 2. It's another great game for this season. I assure you that my girl will love it. Love it now that Diddy is dating his girlfriend Dixie, and they're a good couple, right? Did you know? For being here remembering everything we saw, time has already run out. Let's go now, right? Alright, come on, cut. Wait, we have to tell the maniacs to write to us at... Periférico Sur 4121, Colonia Fuentes del Pedregal, Código Postal 1414. Or right here to my house. Well, thank you very much for your attention. See you here next week. Don't stop tuning in eight days from now. See you here at Linden Domania. Reporting from Los Angeles, California, Gus Rodriguez and myself. We are in contact.